let's pull up the bootcamp guide and we're going to scroll down because we want to grab an action from the guide that we have pre-configured. So rather than just using the action templates from within the story, we're able to do what's called curl to tines. So on the right hand side, we are going to retrieve the URL scan results and then we'll hit copy in the top right hand corner. This just provides us a quick alternative way that we can go to API documentation and take a curl command and then convert it to an action within our story. So let's go back into our story and we will just do command V to paste or control V depending on if you're Mac or Windows. Like always, let's go ahead and connect the previous action to the new one that we have just added to our story. And just like when we use the action templates and brought it into our story, we already have information pre-configured to the right hand side, including the API endpoint that we're trying to request and the credential. Now this credential that is set up is not the one that we want to use. We want to actually reference that credential that we created earlier on because we don't need to have two credentials for URL scan. We already have one. So let's look at a new way that we can update that rather than going into the action and modifying it there. We can modify it by just clicking off the action into the storyboard and we'll scroll down on the property window because we're actually on the story setting. We'll click the three dots to the right of the URL scan underscore IO where it says missing and then we'll click replace. From here, we can choose which credential that we want to replace this with. And we're just gonna choose the one that we created earlier. And we'll notice that the credential that says it's missing is no longer there and there's just this one credential. Now that the credential has been successfully saved, if we click onto the action, we'll see in the header that it is referencing the credential that we replaced it with. Now that that's been saved, we'll go into the bootcamp guide and on the right hand panel, we're going to go to the email the results. All right, we're just going to go ahead and copy this JSON right here. This makes it really easy for us to copy and share actions outside of the platform. And then in our story, we are going to Command V or Control V, depending on if you're Mac or Windows. We have this new email action that we just added to our story. And we're going to first connect it from the previous story by dragging that arrow. And now we're going to update the recipient to be yourself. So put in your email for a recipient. We'll notice that the body of this is already set up. This uses HTML, so great place to show off your HTML chops if you happen to have them. And we're also referencing data through the body. So in here, there is a formula for replace. And what that does is it's going to replace the URL that we're receiving, and it's going to remove HTTP and it's going to set it to HXXP. It is going to remove the periods and then it's going to add brackets around it. And what this is doing is it's defanging the URL. Formulas is a powerful built-in language with a workbook style syntax. We have a ton of different formulas that you can use other than this one for replace, making it so you can take your data and modify it, enrich it. We have that same type of capability within the platform whenever we're working with data. There's also tags, which you can use to create loops as well as other types of ways to work with data. So you don't necessarily just have to reference the data as it appears from a previous action. You can make some modifications. Let's go back up to set URL at the top and we are going to run it we'll see that it hits those next two actions and then it stops because we have this delay, which is gonna be 10 seconds. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to cut out the 10 seconds. And then we see it finish off. It does the HTTP request. It does the send email action. So let's pull up our email and see what this looks like. It looks like the URL has been updated in Defang and it looks like this is not malicious. So malicious is set to false. And we also have this really cool screenshot URL since we've defanged our URL, we can't actually click it to get to the website. So by providing that URL screenshot, we can reference the website without actually having to go to it. So pretty neat.